Welcome y'all, this is Annie, and today I'm doing an update on my Project Use It Up series. I know I haven't um, done one in a really long time, but my empties are piling up and piling up and piling up, and I'm at the point where I'm either going to get around to making a video about some of them, or they're just gonna disappear into the trash and never <laughs> see the light of day, so. Um, I am going to jump in with part of the home care, body care, because that is a lot of the focus that I've done the last year, and um, I have the actual numbers for some of those categories, which I don't have my current number for candles yet. I need to get all of that updated. That'll come down the road eventually. but. I just kind of need to clear space because it is staring me in the face and I don't like having trash sitting around my house basically waiting for me to talk about it. So today I'm doing an update on hand soaps, which I know is so exciting, but they are the ones I feel like I could check off <laughs> and get done today. So if y'all go back a while last summer, I did a Bath and Body Works hand soap collection video and at the end of the video it said that I had 24 hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. I didn't include in the video that I also had a Goose Creek hand soap that was being used at that point and I haven't really done an update since so just to kind of tell you all where the numbers are I had 24 last summer. I exchanged three of those scents for three different scents and added an additional four last fall for a total of seven, even though that only increased the number by four to 28. And then this spring, um, well, end of June, I added two soaps. So total for 2023, I have only added two soaps. And I'll show you all those really quickly because I'm not going to video a haul. One was this Radiant Sky Cleansing Gel Soap, which I've already finished. And the scent notes are Rays of Sunshine, because we know what that smells like. Golden Mango and Juicy Lychee. Juicy Lychee. And the Sweet Grass Meadow, which is dewy grass, refreshing mint, and watery lime. This one smells really good. I would pick it up again. I actually picked both of these up again, I think. So I added two and a total of four. So that brought the collection up to 31. However, that does not take into consideration the ones that I finished from about August of last year to the current. So yes, this is about a year's worth of hand soaps. I know. I am ashamed of myself. Um, we do not just use the liquid soaps. We also like washing our hands with bar soap. So um, the number would be a lot higher if we were only using pump soaps, liquid soaps throughout the year. And I haven't decided if I'm going to add up the empties for the bar soaps at the end of this video or just do a separate video. We'll see. How long this one gets and I will also apologize for the amount of noise in the background it is very hot here it is July in Texas we've been having 116 degree heat at days it's a lot of humidity so I just cannot turn the AC off during videos um, because then the house will never get cooled back down and then I also have the weekly washing machine cleaning cycle going right now should be shutting off in a few minutes but um, I apologize for the background noise. All right, so let's dive into the empties. Um, first up, I will talk about the Goose Creek empty that I have. We finished it last year, and this is before my husband realized to not throw away the empties of the soaps. So there's actually two empties that I do not have here to show y'all. Yeah. Um, sorry, that's one of my cats talking. Um, the Goose Creek soap that we had was a liquid foamer soap, so similar to this kind of soap, and it has a pump where it makes the bubbles. It was a scent in grape soda, which if you watched my haul on 
um, Instagram last spring or so. Um, Y'all would have seen that included. And I got a hand soap and a lotion in grape soda because my husband really likes grape scents. Unfortunately, neither one of us liked this scent. It is very sweet and sugary, very grape, artificial grape. And we did finish the soap, but I don't know if this lotion is ever going to get finished. I cannot stand the scent, so I do not want to wear it. Um, and he has a lot of other lotions he prefers using, so probably need to get around to just using it up, but it's just not a scent we enjoyed. The scent notes are Concord grape, pomegranate punch, fizzy soda, and sugar, and like I said, it's a very, very sugary, sweet, artificial grape, and I don't know. If I was a kid, this would probably be a scent that I would enjoy so much, but I just can't get behind wearing it on my body. Um, as far as the hand soap goes. So it was in a similar clear packaging with a black pump lid like this. And unfortunately, I don't know if it was that particular lid that I got or if that's how all of their hand soaps are because that's the only hand soap I've tried from Goose Creek. But it didn't pump very well. It kind of struggled with making the bubbles. You know how when you push down, it's supposed to come out as a foam. And it would often come out as like part foam, part just the runny liquid. So I think there was something wrong with the top. And I just don't know if that's that one that we had or that's how they are in general. If you've had their hand soaps, let me know down below because I don't want to order a lot if that's kind of how they are. Um, as far as the actual soap went, it cleaned just fine. Um, I'm not opposed to ordering them again if they were a really good price, just not at all in this scent. <laughs> There's lots of other good scents from Goose Creek that would get, but just not the grape soda scent. So that was emptied. My husband threw away the empty. I'm so sorry I don't have that to show y'all, but um, I wanted to let y'all know about that experience in case you were thinking about ordering soaps from Goose Creek. Um, I would definitely order one and see if you like it first before really stocking up. And I would not recommend this scent. <laughs> okay, the other one that I have that I do not have to show you that was an empty was a gel soap. So one of these from Bath and Body Works and it was in Peach Prosecco Macaron, which I love that scent in the candles and I really do love it in the body care, but in the soap, there is just something about it. Um, I don't know if it's a soap base, but sometimes the soap base really alters the scents from any of the other products that it's offered in, in the line with Bath and Body Works. And it just has this off note to it. Now, unfortunately, that's kind of how that soap was. I, like I said, I love the scent in the other products. Um, but in the hand soap, I would not repurchase it. And that wound up being one where I had three in that scent. And I did um, give one away and I exchanged the other just because I didn't want to use another one in that scent. So that are the, that is the two that I do not have here to show you. Um, I will then proceed forward with the um, empty starting with the ones from last um, like August through December of 2022. Then I will move forward with the empties from January 2023 to the present, which we're almost at the end of July. Um, and then I'll give you the total on where the numbers kind of shake up right now. All right, so the rest of these are gonna be soaps from Bath and Body Works. They're going to be either the foaming soap or the gel soap. I, I think that we found we prefer the gel soaps between the two options. The foaming one tends to um, not bubble up a lot more other than what it bubbles into your hand 
and I kind of like the feeling of having bubbles when I'm scrubbing my hands and it also tends to dry my hands out a little bit more than the gel soap does so I know there's a lot of opinions a lot of people have a different preference but that's just kind of where ours is not that we wouldn't buy more of the foaming ones but if there is an option between the foaming and the gel in the future and a scent that I want to pick up, I will probably pick up the gel. All right, so let's pop into the first one. This is going to be a foaming one in lavender vanilla. I really loved this. We would pick this up again. It's from the aromatherapy line. And I kind of like this dark, almost black purple tinted plastic. Um, it was a really good scent. The scent notes are lavender oil and vanilla absolute. So Bath and Body Works version of lavender vanilla is more of an herbal clean lavender with just a hint of sweetness. Um, it works really well in this form with the soap, just that clean note. And I really love this scent from them. Um, I've stocked up on a lot of other products um, just because it's a staple for me and I would definitely repurchase this one again if you're looking for more of a sweet um, lavender that has more of the vanilla note I would pick up the lavender marshmallow I did this last September or October, I can't remember which month I did, the Carnival Circus theme. I think it was October. And this scent is Carnival Kettle Corn. This is one from last summer that Bath and Body Works had. And the scent notes are Fun Fair Popcorn, Golden Vanilla, and Toffee Drizzle. I don't know how I feel about this soap. I really love popcorn scents. And it fit well. I'm sorry, I'm going to let the washing machine finish this little song. Okay. Um, it fit well with the theme for that month, but I don't know that I would repurchase this. For some reason, it just feels weird rubbering buttery sweet popcorn on your hands to clean them. And while I like the actual scent, I don't think I like it in soap. Next up is Afternoon Apple Picking, which this is just a classic fall scent from Bath & Body Works. It's one I'd actually pick up a lot more of if I was wanting to restock and just use it all year because it's just a nice apple. It's not too sour or it's not a candy apple at all and it doesn't have any spice even though there is some notes on the back that say crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. I don't get any cinnamon in this. It's just a nice round sweet apple and exactly what you would kind of think of an apple scent being if it was called a red delicious apple. So definitely would be a repurchase. And then the last of the foaming hand soaps that we used last fall, late summer and Christmas tree timing is pumpkin apple. I love this scent. My husband really likes it as well. And the scent notes are Red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. I don't really feel like I get a lot of clove. I actually feel like I get more cinnamon in here. And this reminds me of apple pie filling. I don't really get pumpkin either. It just is that nice sweet apple with a little bit of cinnamon and it smells like the filling of a pie. So I would definitely repurchase this one, even though it's a fall winter scent, I would still use it other times of the year just because I love it so much. Next up in the gels, we used a white tea and sage and the scent notes are fresh tea, lemon and herbs. This is just a nice, fresh, clean scent. It's not cloying or perfumey. There's a little bit of lemon and there's a little bit of an herbaceous note but I don't feel like it's a strong sage note. You mainly get that lemon and tea and it's just really beautiful. I love this scent 
so much. I love Bath and Body Works takes on white tea, white tea and lemon, white tea and ginger, white tea and sage, and 100% would pick this one up. Next up is Cucumber Melon. The scent notes are crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, and juicy cantaloupe. If you know me, you know I really, really love cucumber scents, and this is no exception. This is just that classic 90s scent. It's nostalgic, and it's also one my husband really enjoys. Um, I would repurchase this. It's definitely melon heavy, so if you don't like melon scents, it's probably not for you. But it's fruity and fresh and clean, and we love that one. Next up is Peach Bellini, and this was definitely one of our favorites. I love the label, and the soap on the inside was this gorgeous peach color with shimmers in it. And I'll try to show some to you in a second. The scent notes are juicy peach, white apricot, and fresh mango. It's definitely that delicious juicy peach note. A little bit leaning into peach rings. And you also do get some of that mango note in there. So not just a straight peach scent. It smells good. The scent of this is not altered in the soap form in my opinion. Um, I love this in the other forms I've had in, like the candles, and would highly recommend it. I'll show you what it looks like, because we are actually using another one right now in our bathroom. As you can see, the soap, I don't know if it's not wanting to cooperate. You'll see that iridescent shimmering. It's gorgeous, and it smells so, so good. The last one for 2022 that we finished was Peppermint Sugar Cookie in the Gel Soap. And the scent notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I love this scent in the candle. It's great. But in the hand soap, <laughs> it's not great. I would not repurchase this. I don't know if it's the soap base again altering the scent or if some of these scents that are in the candles when they translate and reformulate them to be skin safe they have to change out some of the fragrance oils to skin safe fragrance oils and so it changes the actual blend somewhat i kind of suspect that might be what's happened with some of these because not every soap is altered by being added to the soap base I'm not really sure those are my two theories but this one was not good in the hand soap um, at moments it made me feel like I was gonna get a headache after washing my hands so I had to keep like putting it to the side and using something else um, so yeah I would not recommend this but I would recommend the candle smell the candle if you like peppermint bakery scents just not get the soap all right so that is including the peach prosecco macaroon and the grape soda from goose creek i finished 10 liquid soaps between august and the end of december in 2022. let me move these to the side we'll move on to what i have gotten around to in 2023. all right in 2023 First up, we have Strawberry Pound Cake in the Foaming, and I love the label. This was from last year. The label's just gorgeous. And the scent notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's really hard to see a white on clear plastic. Um, this is another one where the scent is different in the hand soap than it is in, for example, the body care, the lotion, or the candle. So I would not actually pick this up in the hand soap again, even though I love Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. There's something about this hand soap, again, I don't know if it's they've changed the blend to make it skin safe, or if it's the soap base. But I don't really get any bakery, none of the cake or golden vanilla, 
It doesn't have that creaminess that the candle and the lotion has. And the strawberry note is really what distinctly jumps out at me. It is very artificial and chemically. It reminds me a little bit of some of the strawberry jams that I don't like in Vendor Wax. And it's just very tart and sour with the strawberry. So would not be a repurchase in the hand soap in particular, unfortunately. Next up is Spiced Apricot Cider. I did this one in January, kind of coming out of the holidays, still felt like a little bit of something that felt like winter. And the scent notes are golden apricot, sparkling cider, and toasted cinnamon sticks. This is not a spicy scent. Don't let the cinnamon kind of scare you away. Um, it's more of a fruity scent. It does smell like a mold cider basically, which is what they're going for, I assume. I don't really get apricot in here. Apricot seems to be something that's difficult for fragrance makers, fragrant perfumers to capture in scent. And I mainly get more of like a plum and apple in here. I liked it. I'm not sure that I would repurchase it just because there's so many other options out there. But um, I did enjoy it enough to where it's not an absolute no. Next up in February, we did wild pear and plum, wild berry and plum. The scent notes are blueberries, peach nectar, and a touch of cinnamon. I do not get any peach in here. I don't really get blueberry either. It kind of comes more of like a mixed berry scent. It's a deep fruity note and we did really enjoy this. Um, also, I don't get any cinnamon in this. Um, it reminds me of, yeah, just imagine if you had like a fruit punch, but instead of it being cherry and pineapple and orange, it's a pear and wild berry, a very deep, dark, sweet, fruity note. And it was very enjoyable, possibly a repurchase. Oh, this next one, I hated. I absolutely hated it. I started it out in the bathroom and I couldn't take it. So I moved it into the kitchen because I don't wash my hands very much at the kitchen. But this is Wild Lavender Mint. And the only thing wild about this is the name because there is no lavender and there is no mint in this. I don't care what they say, it's on the label, there is not. The scent notes say wild lavender, mint leaves, and sea spray. But this is Bath & Body Works eucalyptus, which their eucalyptus to me is not a true eucalyptus oil. It is a very masculine smelling eucalyptus and it's very distinct. So there is a decent amount of eucalyptus in here to my nose and it does have that sea spray element. So think of a ocean spray a eucalyptus. That is what this was. Um, my husband had to finish it out. I couldn't stand the smell. It is one that really lingered on my hands and I hate their eucalyptus. It is not real eucalyptus to me. Um, and I'm very familiar with working with eucalyptus essential oils and I've never smelled a eucalyptus essential oil that smells like their eucalyptus. I know it's a favorite for people. So this is just my preference. If you are one of the ones who likes the eucalyptus spearmint um, candles, which I know are a huge hit for Path & Body Works, then you might love this scent. It's just not for me. Now, one that I really did enjoy was Sweet Mint and Rain. And the scent notes are watery bamboo, juicy melon, and fresh mint leaves. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a melon scent. There is a sweet light fruity note to it and just a hint of the mint but it is very green fresh aquatic I do get the rain in the bamboo and a sweet fruity note and we both really liked this one it would definitely be a repurchase it felt like what you would expect a soap to smell like unlike the grape soda soap that I was talking about earlier and I enjoyed when I washed my hands with this. Um, I felt like I was cleaning my hands 
and not scenting them with something weird. So let me know if you've tried this one. I really, really enjoyed that one. Next up is one of the ones that I got this year, and this is Radiant Sky. The scent notes are Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. My guess is the Rays of Sunshine is a citrus note because at moments it had a hint of orange or lemon in here. It kind of changed back and forth, so I'm not sure what was going on with the scent. Um, at first, I didn't really care for the way this smelled in the hand soap. I really enjoy the way it smells in the candle, but the more I used it, the more I started liking it. My husband had the opposite <laughs> experience where he liked it at the beginning, and the more he used it, the more he was like, I don't really like this one. Can we never pick this one up again? <laughs> so it probably will land in the category of not getting picked up in the hand soap. Um, I really do think you get a citrus note with a nice juicy mango, and you do get that fruity floral lychee, which is one of my favorite fruits in the world. And I love this scent. I love that it has started appearing in more mainstream fragrance options because it is a beautiful scent. So um, that was our experience with this um, gel soap. And to finish it out, because I do not want to already be halfway to starting another pile of hand soap trash, I'm going to include the two that we are currently working on. They will not appear in a future empties video. We will call them empty, even though they are not quite, because they will be in about a week, week and a half or so. so I don't want to already finish this, ball, this video behind the ball. First up is Fresh Rainfall in a Gel Soap. And the scent notes are aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. I really like the scent. We both enjoyed it. It's going in our kitchen right now, and it's very fresh, green, and aquatic. You definitely get some of that aloe. I feel like that's the dominant note actually here, like aloe water. And it's very nice. We would repurchase this one. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's about down here by the ampersand sign. And then the one we currently got in the bathroom is the Peach Bellini that I was showing y'all. I love this scent. Um, would 100% repurchase. If this was the one we always had in our bathroom, I would be completely happy. Well, maybe that one, um, pumpkin, apple, lavender, vanilla, and the white tan sage, and okay, I could keep going on, but Definitely one of my favorites, and I will repurchase it again if I see it at a decent price. If it's about three bucks, I'll probably pick it up. Um, it's just beautiful, and it doesn't make my hands smell weird after using it. So, to, I'm going to include these in the empty numbers right here, even though they're not quite empty. Um, to go back over the numbers, Last summer, at the end of July, I had 24 Bath & Body Works plus the one Goose Creek, so that was 25 liquid hand soaps. And I exchanged three and added an additional four, which um, was getting seven, so that brought the number up to 29. Then I added two this spring right at the end of June, and that total brought it up to 31. I gifted five and emptied 18, including the two here that are almost finished and the two that got thrown away. So the total that I have left, including the one new one I picked up about a month ago, are eight liquid hand soaps left. And that is actually a number I would like to continue getting a little bit smaller because ultimately we really kind of prefer using the bar soap at the sink and it's less drying to our hands. I really love cold process, hot process soaps. Um, it's a hobby that I have. So I actually have a ton that I'm trying to use up um, because my drawers are full of <laughs> soaps that I've made and I need to use them if I want to be able to make some more batches of soap and have a place to put them. So we are kind of shifting focus into using up some of that and not restocking 
the liquid soaps but I do enjoy having the liquid soaps on hand especially if we have people over um, it just looks nice on the counter and sometimes it's just nice to have a pump that you can kind of push soap into your hands when your hands are really dirty instead of grabbing the bar soap so I'm not saying I'm going to completely go down to zero and not add anything else to the collection, but I would like to get it down more like five. And right now, because I'm continuing on with um, my low buy, I am not going to be adding any in the near future for at least a few months. So by then, we'll see where the numbers are at. We tend to average one, maybe two a month that we finish off in these. So possibly by the end of the year, I will be down to zero, um, unless I had some. All right, that is where my project use it up on these liquid hand soaps are. I feel like I made really good progress, especially in the aspect of not buying any at the winter semi-annual sales and only picking up two soaps, one of which I've already finished, in the summer semi-annual sales so i feel like my purchasing habits have gotten on better and it's definitely taking up a lot less space um which is good and now this trash is not going to continue taking up space in my house either i'm going to get rid of these and possibly get around to posting this video someday if i have time i'm sorry i haven't been posting a lot lately y'all um there's just a lot going on in life and I am not really going to get into personal stuff on my channel. I like to keep it focused on, you know, what we're here to talk about with our hobbies, but I just don't have a lot of time to make YouTube videos and my priorities kind of have to be of places. As much as I love the hobby and I enjoy it, there's just so much else in my life that I enjoy doing as well and I can't prioritize making a video every week. So I'm sorry, I'm not trying to neglect anybody. Um, I know I'm behind on watching and supporting so many other amazing channels out there um, and I just appreciate y'all's patience and even commenting and watching the video when you'll have time because I know that there's other things everyone could be doing with their time instead of watching my content. So I just want to say I appreciate each one of you that comments and is a friend to me in this community. I really enjoy making the genuine authentic connections I've made with people because that to me matters a lot more than producing content and having a bunch of subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone who is just so kind and um, allows me to be a part of their life with their time. And with that, I'm going to get off of here and let you all go about your day. Thank you all for watching.